We'll now tie this all together with some web apps. Let's navigate to the web app section. On the web app section, when we added the sites, we see some default web apps here. But what we're going to do is make a multi-server application. So let's go ahead and just delete these ones first and get them out of our way. The default web apps are great for single server web apps, but we're going to make one a little more sophisticated than that. Let's go ahead and click on Add App. For the first web app, let's create one for the back end. And we'll call it Movies Back End. I'll select my GitHub version control profile and then enter the repository path, which is arm guitar forward slash movies API. And we'll be pulling from the master branch and let's leave push to deploy as enabled. Scroll down a little bit. Let's select the servers for the movies database and the one for the backend. And then for site, We'll select the one for the back end as well, and then click on Add. OK, we created our web app, but let's go in and make some more configurations. So we'll just click into it. What we'll do first is click on the Environment tab. And then here we see a drop down with a couple options, one for the Movies backend server and one for the Movies database server. What we're going to do is pull the .env file, which is going to be on the Movies backend server, since that's the server that's housing our Adonis API. Now let's click on fetch, and that's going to pull in the environment variables. And let's go ahead and toggle it so we could look at this in a form view, and then scroll down a bit. By default, if Cleaver doesn't know the type of database that you're using, it's going to set it to MySQL. But we'll want to change this to Postgres. So let's go ahead and add PG there. For the database host, we'll use the public IP for the server that's housing our database. And for an Adonis database, the port number is 5432 by default. Our database name was movies, so we'll type that in. And then username is admin. And password is password. All right, now that we have all those variables configured, let's go ahead and sync that. Next, let's go to our deployment hook section. We see in our deployment hook section a list of default deployment hooks that Cleaver has. If we click into one of these, let's say copy project, we'll notice that it's set to run on both the movies backend database and the movies database. However, for the majority of these hooks, we really only want them to run on the movies backend. So let's deselect movies database and then click on update. And we'll do the same for each of these deployment hooks. We could also see that Migrate Database is disabled by default. But since this is our initial run, we'll want to make sure that we enable it. So let's click on Enable. And also make sure that we disable Movies Database. Click on Activate New Deployment, Disable Movies Database, and then lastly, Prune Old Deployments, and then Disable Movie Database. OK, awesome. But we also want to run another deployment hook to seed our database. Let's do that. We'll click on Add Hook. And then let's name this C Database. And we see here that this will seed into the release path. And from there, we want to run the command to see the database, which for Adonis is node ace db colon seed. OK, let's scroll down and then apply that to the movie's backend and add that. Now what we want to do is click on C database and drag it just below migrate database and right above activate new deployment so that it runs in that order. All right, now it's time to deploy the back end. Let's click on the deploy button and it's going to go through each of the deployment steps. And ta-da, now it should be deployed. Let's go ahead and visit that site.
and we'll just do a forward slash movies. And ta-da again, if you look here, we have all of our database data in beautiful JSON.